in 1972, um, my, thought, my parents' plans were always to go back to, is, to visit Israel. That was one of their goals. And in 1972, on a Saturday, and it's really wild because it's the only Saturday that I didn't work in the store. I don't know why. I didn't go. My mother went. And we had a, um, he was a black uh, policeman, and he used to come in every Saturday off duty, and he would wait with us till the store closed. And he'd buy some food and we'd make him some packages. He's a great man. Uh, his name was Elijah Stroud, and he was about six months away from retiring from NYPD. He had never pulled a gun out um, in his life. And two kids, I'm going to call them, two members of the Black Liberation Army came in like cowboys shooting. And they blew his head off immediately, Elijah Stroud. And um, my mother bolted, somehow had the wherewithal. You know, you're talking about a survivor mentality. And she bolted into the back where my father was cleaning. He had, thought firecrackers went off. <clears throat> and the gunman went after my mother, shooting. And my father grabbed him from behind. And, you know, once my father, you're done. You can't get away. And all the rest of the bullets went up into the uh, ceiling. The second gunman came in shooting like a cowboy to get his friend out of the store. And when he got to my father, he, was out of, he put the gun to his head, and he had no more bullets. He ran out of bullets. It was front page of uh, all the New York newspapers. Uh, we went to the funeral when John Lindsay was the mayor of New York. And it was, a dev it was devastating. 